Here's a photo I took a number of years ago. It was out in California by Yosemite, just outside of Yosemite. And it's not, that's my son in the photo. And there was this old time train. I wanted to go for a ride. And I'm just trying to capture the, the forest, this old time train, and my kids who are not amused. My name is Paxton and I teach just how to improve your photos with very simple composition and very easy ways we can improve just about any photo. If you follow along, listen to my logic and apply the same logic to your photos. So with that, let's get started. First off, let's talk about this photo. Obviously, this is another bad photo I took because the sky is blown out. I think this was with an iPhone 6. I mean, it was that long ago. I, tr I was trying to capture the forest and everything, but it, it doesn't really work and the sky is blown out. And so as soon as you look at this, obviously the subject matter is the people because people are interesting to look at and that's what we t tend to gravitate to. But you always go up to the top left because it's this bright high contrast area. So it diminishes the value of the photo of the intention of the photo, which is the people. What we're gonna do is we're gonna remove that. One cool thing about this photo is we have this nice big black back of the train that frames the people very nicely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crop it or fr I should say frame it for that's what the professionals say. Something like this. The forest frames the back of the engine, which frames the subject matter. And we have this progression here. And because we have this tree, pretty large tree right here, I'm going to use that. I always, if I could find a tree trunk like that, I use that as the border of the image. And so we'll have the same kind of shape. This will be equidistant from here and here and hopefully we can still capture some of this forest feel. So with that, let's get started. First on the left-hand side, we're gonna frame this. So we have that tree there. Then I'm gonna pull this down so we have about the same amount around that back of the train like that. And here we've gotten rid of all that blown out sky. On the bottom, I'm just gonna pull this up a little bit. We don't need all that. There's no value in all this stuff at the bottom. And there we have it. That is the photo, so let's Go to here, to here. We could still capture the sense of the forest because we got a lot of tree trunks there and they look very tall and big, so that's good. The back of the train engine frames uh, my son there, who is looks very unimpressed. But that's what I want to capture. You want to cap? We want to capture our kids and the photos of our kids. And there you have it. So I think this is you know way too much information. And immediately you look up the top left because it just commands our attention. So I can improve this further by adjusting colors. It looks a little faded out. You know, using the magic wand tool, you can go very far, making things look good. So I'll just do that. So the idea is, again, just follow along my logic. My logic and my rationale is very simple, and we can make great improvements in the photography if you just ask yourself, what is the story and what is taken away from the story? So thanks for watching, and if you like it, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.